than win. Joining me now, Congressman Mo Brooks, Republican of Alabama. Thanks for joining us on this busy evening. Uh, let me start with that question to you. Since this executive action has been stopped by the courts, what are you fighting against now? Well, you're assuming that that's a final order. It's not a final order. It could be stayed tomorrow. It could be stayed. It could go to the Fifth Circuit. Why not then do something where you say we're not going to fight over this unless it is reinstated? Because the principle here is one of the biggest principles we're ever going to face in Washington, D.C. What do you do when a United States president violates federal law and disregards the United States Constitution? We've got a majority of the House of Representatives who believes that President Obama has done just that, acted illegally. A majority of the United States Senate that has said the same thing. Two federal court judges have said the same thing, one in Pennsylvania and one in Texas. And for that matter, the President of the United States has said at least 22 times that his conduct is illegal and unconstitutional, yet he then did it. This is a major principle. It needs to be fought and addressed as quickly as possible in order to minimize the risk that there will be further illegal conduct spreading beyond what we've seen so far. What would you be defunding, though, if the program's not operative? Well, that, that's the big if, okay? Tomorrow it may be operative. It may be operative on Saturday or Sunday because, again, the federal judges' decisions are not final. And until they are final, there is a risk that at any point in time an appellate court or Supreme Court may decide to go ahead and enter a stay of the district court order, in which case Barack Obama, as he's shown in the past, is going to immediately implement what we believe and what he himself has said is illegal and unconstitutional conduct. No, I took an oath of office to defend the Constitution. Sure. That's what I'm going to do. And, and to be fair to your point, the Justice Department is seeking that, so that could happen. Specifically on this vote tomorrow, are you going to be with John Boehner? Do you support this sort of short-term uh, step? Well, the vote tomorrow is a little bit like being a little bit pregnant. You either are or you are not. And if you vote tomorrow for this continuing resolution, and if the stay is lifted, then you will have voted to fund illegal unconstitutional action, and I'm not going to take that risk. I can only speak for myself. I can't speak for other House members. I cannot speak for the United States Senate. We'll see how it plays out. Let me play for you some new sound from uh, Senate Minority Leader Harry Reid on this debate. Take a listen. Have money. Terrorists appear to have money. Why shouldn't our homeland have the ability to protect itself? What is going on in the House? We have the two leaders who haven't talked to each other in two weeks. And he mentions them not speaking two weeks. Your leader, uh, Speaker Boehner, there reportedly uh, in newspapers we've seen said he hadn't talked to McConnell in, in two weeks, which is weird. Uh, your response? Well, I agree with Harry Reid. The Department of Homeland Security ought to be funded, and I wish Harry Reid would quit blocking that funding by instead of funding the Department of Homeland Security, insisting on protecting illegal and unconstitutional conduct by the President of the United States, conduct which the President himself has admitted is illegal and unconstitutional. If those 61 Democrats who have publicly, excuse me, 61 Senators, Republican yep. and Democrats, who have said that it is illegal and unconstitutional and an overreach, would have actions that are in accord with their words, then this would all be resolved in the United States Senate and resolved quickly. What we really need is the American people to decide whether they want to support America's illegal conduct by this president. And if they do not want to support illegal conduct, then they need to contact their House members and their senators and say enough is enough. First and foremost, we have to protect American jobs for American workers, American wages for American workers, so, Congressman, and quit putting illegal aliens the... on a pedestal above illegal aliens. Well, that goes to the final question. I understand you say you're speaking from principle on these issues. Final question. You mentioned the American public. Do you think that after these midterms and with uh, basically 60-vote edge in the House, uh, controlling both chambers, that if the Ho Homeland Security Department isn't funded long term, this is something where you're going to have the public behind you as the, one of the first moves of this Republican Congress? Well, with respect to the shutdown in 2013, the public remembered that we fought Obamacare, and as it was laid out, the polling quickly shifted because we fought on a matter of principle. If we're going to fight tomorrow, 
on protecting American jobs and putting American citizens first and foremost, struggling American families first and foremost for the seeking of those jobs and the obtaining of those higher wages instead of uplifting illegal aliens as for some unfathomable reason the President of the United States wants to do, putting illegal aliens superior to American citizens. If that's the ground that the Senate Democrats want to fight and defend on, I challenge them to do so, and I welcome the 2016 election outcome. All right, sir, Congressman Mo Brooks on a business.